So we look at the dog, the way the dog is barking, the way the tail's going. Those are not play barks. At least in that time. We have one dog. His name is Jake. He's a Maltese Chihuahua mix. Jake Maltese Chihuahua? I don't see any Chihuahua in there. So dogs are not psychotic. Well, actually, there's a very, 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 very rare disease where, yes, dogs are. We can, I guess, technically say psychotic. It's a rage syndrome where they will just attack for no reason. But it is incredibly rare. 99% of the time, dogs are just untrained or under exercise, which is kind of what I suspect is going on here. It's hard to have other people around because you're afraid someone might get bit. <laughs> All right, so the dad went to pick him up there and he didn't like it. He's bitten the kids. He's bitten. He doesn't want to be brushed. Okay, that guy's taunting the dog. Okay, okay, let, let, let's go back for uh, a second here. All right, hold on. So we pause right here and we look at the dad, right? He's hunched over, leaning over the dog, reaching. And in dog world, if you're a dog, that is a very threatening position. Okay, then we get to here where they're trying to brush the dog. Dogs should tolerate brushing and it should be something that we can do without getting bit. It, it's not a excuse, it's not reasonable for a dog to bite us for trying to brush them. That said, it's understandable why a dog would try to bite when you go to brush them if they haven't been trained and essentially socialized to being brushed. He's bitten me, he's bitten the kids. And then lastly, we get to this genius I'm, here. <laughs> Again, look at the body language, all right? He's taunting the dog. He's bending over, he's doing this with his hands he's asking the dog to respond so looking at these just first few clips all right is the behavior from this dog i mean is it acceptable no but is it understandable why it's happening yes the humans are causing it i am kind of worried that jake's gonna hurt me someday go to bite you just maybe now. this is a small dog we got somebody in a wrong i mean spot, they still can really cause quite a bit of damage no one can really come in the house at all i can't have friends over Hmm. Just bites my friend. So the dog, it sounds like there's a resource guarding He's problem also. Not a good dog. The dog doesn't want people coming in the house, no people on the couch. My daughter steps out of line, he's biting her. If Victoria Redirected aggression there, you saw when he bit the pillow. So watch this part here. So he's barking, barking, yeah, bites the pillow. That's a very common behavior with dogs that are fearful and kind of in an aggressive state. They're so hyped up, they don't know what's going on and they just take it out on whatever's the closest thing to them. And oftentimes that can be people. No, 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 hmm. no, 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 stop, stop. He bit me. He bit you. No. Did she break down. skin? Let's see. Did, did he mind. break the skin? No, oh, he did actually a little bit. Eh, not too bad, but he did break the skin. So that is a problem. Now, maybe it's not the actual cause here, but whenever you go to pick up a dog, if they attempt to bite you, it could be that there's actually something wrong with the dog physically. They have a so injury. Maybe there's a, you know, growth that you're touching. Maybe there's have a sprained whatever, you know, arm, shoulder, leg. Again, you go to pick it up and they bite in response to pain. So always make sure that when we have a dog that we say is aggressive, we rule out, is there a medical issue that's causing the aggression? I don't think that's what's going on here, but we'll see. Why do you think he's biting? He doesn't bite me. I don't know. Only he doesn't bite the mother. Interesting. Like, yeah. He bit you? Two minutes yeah. ago. Like... Look. When the girl went to pick her up, granted, she didn't do it the best way. She's leaning over the dog again, eye contact with the dog, grabbing the front two legs. So, yeah, again, possibly human error. It's not the best way to be picking up the dog. But still, for a dog that lives with children like this, it, the dog shouldn't really be responding like that. As in most or... situations are when mom's with you yeah, and pretty... you would try and pick him up. What point? The dog okay. protects. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So that's why I said it originally, some resource okay, guarding. There is no touching the dog around her yeah resource guarding so resource guarding oftentimes we think about it, a dog guarding their food guarding their toys you know you go to take the food bowl away or take a bone away and ah, the dog goes after you but dogs can resource guard anything that in the dog's mind they think is a resource people sleeping places there's dogs that will guard just random objects that to us humans we go oh my god why are you guarding that that's not a resource but in the dog's mind it is by the way guys if you're enjoying this video do me a favor hit that subscribe button and i wanted to see what jake did without any kind of intervention all right let's watch again and see so that she's going for a pet he doesn't want her pet in him so wait a second what did he just do when you first yeah. touched him he moved away from you didn't he yeah. What do you think he was trying to say to you when he moved away? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. There exactly. You go. So why did you go out and touch him again? Yeah. When you ignore what a dog is trying to say to you, that's going to get you bit. Bingo. When you have kids and dogs, it's so important. Train your kids. Train the children just as much as you train the dog. No human, not adults and not children, have a natural understanding of dog 
language and how dogs communicate. I didn't even have it. I had to study and learn it, all right? We've got to teach that to our kids because again, human error. If you go to do something to a dog, the dog tells you no, and then you do it again, you get bit. There's no fixing. You don't fix dogs like you fix a television or you fix a piece of furniture. You modify behavior. Yep. You teach that animal to be able to exist and cope. You teach the dogs, but you also got to teach the owners as well. You allowed your child to be bitten five times plus. Which is totally to unacceptable. Me, I love dogs with a passion, but nothing comes before a child. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's just, it's very. I had no idea. Training should have started you know after what? that first I bite. Have three days to undo three years of life experience. Mm. Three days. That's not gonna happen. Each time the cameraman moves and he doesn't react, I tell him, good boy. Okay, pull the camera up. Nice. Is he good afraid boy. of men though? He doesn't seem like he has, I don't think he's actually uh, afraid though. That dog doesn't seem terribly under socialized because we just saw there. The cameraman walking around doesn't really do much. He's not really reacting to Victoria. It really seems to me that, you know, it's a resource guarding problem. The dog is just guarding the mother. He has such a high, respect but he has he holds that mother in such high value that that's where kind of the aggressive behavior comes from trying to protect her i wanted to talk to you about how you're handling jake okay yeah but let's see how she does it do it with jake i have seen the family manhandle yep. mishandle overtouch overcaress and get in their poor dog's face from the time that i came here all dogs have a limit to how much they will tolerate it is not reasonable to expect a dog to tolerate anything you do to them. It's the same thing for us humans. Imagine people saying you have to tolerate anything people do to you no matter what. So if somebody comes up to you and just starts punching you in the face, no matter how many times they punch you, you can never react, right? It's the same thing for dogs. There is a limit to what they will tolerate before they snap. Like this. Yeah. I thought he liked Forcing it. herself. <laughs> this all the time. I thought you just pet a dog like everyone comes pets a dog, but um, actually annoying the dog yes. every time I pet him. When you do this, oh, yeah. do it all the time. Absolutely. Really riles a Get dog Get them going. If yeah. you really want to calm him down, do that. Okay. Just do it a little bit and then go about your business. And then you. Yes. You're like this. Oh. Yeah, she taunts it. That's what I said at the start. She taunts, he taunts her. What you were doing all over his face. You were getting mm. your hands in there and he was like, yeah. just stop. Him and his buddy were doing the same thing. Remember, dogs have emotions. Dogs have feelings. Dogs are incredibly smart, okay? We've got to respect that when we're living with dogs. Let's say I wanted to come sit with you. Can you see all how right? she does this? Oh, go. Okay. Food away, good. I thought it was tremendous how just by throwing so a simple. little treat, <laughs> and then you can move to this side of the room. We're throwing them a little treat over there, and then yep. you can move to that side of the room. Good. They seem like little, simple ways it is. to get the dog to behave. That's all you gotta do. And you're like, yeah, yeah, if I do this, he's not gonna do it. But you see the dog like reacting and thinking. This is such a good start, okay? We're not putting the dog on a choke chain. We're not putting him in a shock collar. We're not giving him physical corrections when he bites. We're changing the underlying response. We're teaching the dog that, hey, when people come near the mother, something good happens. You get food, you get a treat. Not a time to protect her. Two weeks later, all right, how are they doing now? Check Since in. Victoria left, Jake's more mellow. He's not as aggressive. His behavior has kind of calmed down a little bit. Jessica yeah. is a lot better with If they're doing the exercises, he should be. playing with him, and he hasn't bit her at all. He hasn't growled nothing. Good. Dog bites and dog aggression in general is so preventable, all right? Dogs respond to us humans. What we do and how we behave directly affects the dog's behavior. If your own dog has a problem with resource guarding, I'll leave a link to a video in the description of this video of my tutorial on how to solve resource guarding. Check it out.